Ciao friends, we are Andrea and Ravi. In this episode, we will share with you our five-day itinerary in Tulum, including excursions, shopping, restaurants and bars. If you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, please consider doing so before we jump into this. First off, to get to Tulum, you will most probably fly to Cancun International Airport. Once there, you can either rent a car or get a private or shared transportation to your hotel. We usually arrange transportation through our hotel or Viator. The drive from Cancun to Tulum takes about two hours. If you rent a car, be aware that traffic in Tulum can get heavy and parking can be difficult. Now let's talk about which area to stay. There are three main areas to stay in Tulum. Tulum Town, the party zone and the hotel zone. Tulum Town has the most affordable hotel and B&B options, while the party and hotel zones tend to be pricier. We like to stay in the hotel zone, which is close enough to the restaurants and bars without being too loud like the party zone. But if your trip is to party, then the party zone may be the area for you. We recommend Nomade Tulum, which is a luxury hotel located at the end of the hotel zone. The hotel offers glamorous tents with outdoor bathrooms, luxury suite and three houses. Their wellness program and amenities are extensive and we love this hotel so much we stayed there twice. Now with all of that out of the way, let's jump into the fun activities. Day one is probably short, as you have to check into your hotel and get situated, so you can start with a nice dinner at Arca. Arca is one of our favorite restaurants in Tulum, and the ambiance and food are so enjoyable. Make sure to try the crab tacos. For more on Arca, we will link our best restaurant in Tulum video. After dinner, try Gitano. It's a place to see, be seen and have fun while in Tulum. Gitano turns into a nightclub as the night progresses, but it's a cool place to have a drink and some snacks while enjoying beautiful music. On day two, you can visit the Tulum ruins, which are located by a beautiful cliff. The ruins are worth visiting and we recommend doing that early in the morning. We booked a private tour via Viator and it was well worth it. The tour guide was great and cold water, sodas and the entrance tickets were included in the price. When you're back from the ruins, you can have lunch and relax by the beach. We went to our beach club at Nomade and the beachfront restaurant La Popular is a great restaurant with delicious food. For dinner, head on to Casa Jaguar or Wild Tulum. We personally prefer the food at Wild Tulum. After dinner, head on to Todos Santos, which is the bar side of Casa Jaguar. The bar is lively, the drinks are good, and they have a DJ playing into the night. While you need to reserve at Casa Jaguar, Todos Santos is first come first serve. We saw that the lines get longer later in the night, so make sure to go early. On day three, Spend the morning beach club hopping. We love the beach clubs at Nomade, Casamalca and Bitulum. Most of the beach clubs have a minimum consumption if you're not staying there. So make sure you eat your lunch and spend time there to make the minimum. To give you an example, the minimum consumption at Bitulum is around $80 per person. If you want to shop, the hotel zone has many bohemian stores that sell anything from clothing to cover-ups to bags and accessories. Be warned though that the prices in this area can be very high. For dinner, try another amazing restaurant, Nu Tulum. This is a vegetarian heaven, and the food, ambiance and service are amazing. For after dinner, you can try Spicy Bar. Although this is not a place me and my wife liked, many of our friends went there after dinner. You can also try Rosa Negra, which is another popular place where to have a drink. Day 4. 
While Tulum is not known for sunset activities, it has some of the best sunrises. Make sure to wake up early at least one day to admire the sunrise and enjoy taking beautiful pictures. Since you are already up, go see Vena La Luz before the lines get long. The doors open at 8 a.m. so try to be there then so you can take your time to enjoy the statue and take pictures. Alternatively, you can check out the beautiful museum at Azulik Hotel. If you want to see something different from the hotel zone, head on to Los Moros. You will not only try some amazing local food, they also have a beautiful pool with great music and Wi-Fi and you can easily spend the afternoon there. For dinner, head to Gitano for some tacos and good music. Make sure to try the watermelon salad and the meatballs. This is not a quiet place, so if you want a quiet dinner, this may not be the place for you. On day five, wake up early to visit a cenote. If you want one that is gorgeous and close to Tulum, try Grand Cenote. We will link our video that has more info on the cenote, but it's definitely an experience not to miss. And if you have the time, there are many that are more beautiful a little further from the town. Since Gran Cenote is close to Tulum town, make sure you try delicious tacos at Taqueria Honorio or La Chapanega, as they are some of the best in Tulum. If you want to know what to get there, we will link another video here. To burn the tacos, head to the main street of Tulum town, Highway 307, and hit the stores for souvenir shopping. There you'll find anything from clothing to art to accessories and jewelry to mezcal and tequila. The prices are much more affordable here and feel free to negotiate. For dinner, don't leave without trying Medze. It's one of the best Mediterranean restaurants we've ever tried. Everything we tried there was absolutely delicious and the place is gorgeous. See the linked video to find out what to order. Another must do in Tulum is live music and Macondo. Macondo is one of the restaurants in Nomade Hotel. And although the Moroccan food at dinner is okay, the live music is an experience not to be missed. The music is usually bohemian, loungy and very relaxing. If that's your jam, you will love this place. We hope this list will help you create an itinerary that works for you. We have individual vlogs for each day we spent in Tulum, so make sure to check those for a deeper dive. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notifications so you can be the first to know when we have another video.